Welcome to another episode of Rat TV. A little different today. I'm gonna be installing a roof rack, well, crossbars on my 2016 Audi A4 All Road. I got the Thule Wing Bar Evo 118 centimeter, which is the, I believe it's 47 inches. And then we got the Evo raised rail um, mounting pieces. Yeah. So, gonna get it started. Um, I am looking to use these because I don't have crossbars for transporting fishing poles, surfboards, anything long. Um, I plan on getting a roof box eventually, so this is the first step in doing that. The reason I went with the Evo wing bars is because they uh, look clean. They reach across just enough where it doesn't overlap too much here. So I didn't want it to go too far over the bars. I wanted it to look as OEM as possible. And from what I found online on Reddit threads and whatnot, the 47 inch is the way to go on these cars at least. So it looks something like that. I got black and I wanted to be able to use the sunroof. So I'm pretty sure on the wing bar edge, the sunroof is hindered. So I wanted to make sure I could use my sunroof when the bars are still on the car. So I'm going to get started. So when it came to actually putting the bars together, which really wasn't much, it was just this rubber ceiling um, and then a couple pieces down here for when the actual mounts go in. So to put those together, I really just watched this YouTube video here. Uh, it's pretty simple. So if I drive then, there's the title. You guys can do that and then come back. So in the box, it comes with the four mounting clamps for the edges of the roof rack, uh, the piece to, I guess, tighten them in, and then the actual lock mechanisms that so you, you gotta put in here. Yeah, so, gonna figure that out. All right, so the directions are telling me to take these locking mechanisms and put them into the outside piece of the clamp. So you just pop this piece off and then you pretty much just pop this piece in and then you twist it counterclockwise and it'll lock itself in. It's pretty simple. Pop this piece off very easily. Take your locking mechanism. This slips right in and you're good to go but there it is just gotta wiggle it around a little bit get it in there but that is it step two so after you put the locking mechanism into the clamps you're gonna take the assembled crossbars pop the ends off and you're gonna slide the clamps in here, just like that. So give it a little push, get all the way up to this part, and then you're gonna take the cap, close it off. Do the same thing on all four sides. This is what you should have after it's all completed. So once you get them mounted onto the brackets, it's pretty straightforward from there. Kind of just telescope them out, uh, get it to be, you know, same distance here on each side. And then they say to push down here, make sure that this rubber ceiling is in a, you know, crimpled up or whatever. It makes sure it's nice and flat and has a good seal on it. And then you're gonna push down on top of here and then take your tool that they give you, tighten this down to four Newton meters, whatever the fuck it's called. But I just did it until I thought it was tight enough. And that's pretty much what it should look like. You then take the end cap, pop it right on. You got your locking mechanism in there that will now keep this all in one place. 
so that people can't take your roof rack. Lock it up. That's it. That I have under here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty much a little piece of rubber that seals up the open hole that's there. They say that you're gonna also need it somewhere around underneath here after you take these pieces that you put into them and slide them back. They say that the rubber goes up like under there, but I tried measuring it and getting it to fit, wouldn't stay. So it's really honestly not doing anything. So I just left it alone, but I made sure that there was equal amount of overhang on each side. It's about an inch and a quarter, which is pretty much exactly what I wanted. It's the closest thing to flush that I could get. And I think it looks really good. So that's, uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. It's really easy. Um, like I said, watch that YouTube video that I posted or that I showed you before on how to actually put together the bars. And then from there, it's pretty straightforward with the instructions that you get with the uh, mounting clamps. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.